Mr. Jerwin S. Limson was born in Boston, Massachusetts. With his siblings Mr. Justin and Stalin Limson. Mr. Jerwin Limson served in the U.S. Navy in the 2000s, where naval activities and monitoring in the North Atlantic give way to the development of a new civilization on an island under American occupation. By the year 2016, the Limson siblings migrated to the newly independent sovereign nation of Landover. From 2016 to 2018, Landover was not under a national executive government. Different small-scale local governments were under the authority. Guerrilla forces back out and back the new civilization after U.S. President Barack Obama had announced the independence of Landover. On February 21, 2017, the city of Plainsfield has been established. A couple of days after the establishment, Mr. Jerwin Limson initiated the role of mayor in the city. The city was astoundingly developed, days pass after its establishment. Likewise, a lot of buildings and houses were established, not until it was temporarily halted by the local budgeting department, where the infrastructure budget was limited and heavily managed and restricted for further use. Mayor Limson back then wanted to reform the government and set the foundation of the national executive offices, broke ground for being the president. Mr. Jerwin S. Limson was then appointed president, while coexisting, being the mayor of Plainsfield City. A lot had happened during his term. In October 2018, he ordered to expand Landova onto the other shore, where the Plainsfield Sonomo Bridge was constructed giving way to the city of Sonomo on the other side of Antaridian Bay. It made significant progress in the area. While tourism was booming around the area, it became a tourist spot for many. In April 2019, the municipality of Shottler has been established as an expanded area for Plainsfield City's commercial district. President Limson dreamt that this was the start of the urbanization of Landova. Picot City was then followed under the Plainsfield Protocano Picot project of his administration. It wasn't successful as he stated that the progress of the country was not as blooming as when initially expected. With that, many more villages and municipality was established. The municipality of Tudor of which is the industrial zone of Landova, Commerce Valley Terraces Village, and then the newly established Loveheart Village in the outskirts of the country. President Limson has made a collaborative effort with the United States under President Donald Trump and President Joe Biden's administration as well as United Kingdom's Prime Minister Boris Johnson. The efforts targeted the infrastructure and economical rise of the country. However, incomprehensible actions were evident during the administration. Despite the flaws of the government, it never had been a barrier to the people. Before Sonomo City was built, in August 2018 the first ever elevated highway is built to accommodate the connection of future cities in Landover and for ease of access to Plainsfield City. The Landover Highway Route System or the LHR system was set, creating numbered routes of major highways in Landover. The first ever built highway in Landover was in the outskirts of Plainsfield City known as the Great Way Highway which was changed to Terrestrial Road that partially encircled Old Massa Village up to Commerce Valley Terraces Village. Some part of the highway was deconstructed and demolished for land use. The next ever official elevated highway is the Landova Highway Route 1, or the Plainsfield Terraces Picot Expressway or Platypex in short. The expressway is used to interconnect the said places in its acronym which are Plainsfield City, Commerce Valley Terraces Village, and Picot City. The highway itself was halted for a long time, and it is still under construction, to connect to Picot City. Moreover, LHR2 which is the East Bay Stretch Freeway connects Commerce Valley Terraces Village up to the proposed Sprosk Bayside District in Picot City spanning the Northeast Bayside of Antaridian Bay. And lastly, LHR3 is the Rotterdam Stadium Freeway, an elevated highway that only consists of two alternating lanes from LHR2 up to the east side of the Rotterdam Stadium. The Infrastructural Committee argued that this was not an official highway, to be named as it is very short and does not fit the criteria. Nonetheless, the Architecture and Infrastructure Department has already named and designated the route number for the said highway. President Limson greatly appreciated the efforts done to manage highway routes for all Landovians. During the construction of the Shotteler, a proposal was made for the successor of the old village upper railway transit that was constructed in ye old terrestrial up to Plainsfield City. 
The Department of Transportation initiated Mayor Justin Limson to build a subway station in Shotler that would connect the municipality to the will-be highly urbanized Picot City. The Shotler line was then started in 2019 with its terminus station in Shotler at the Shotler Bayside area. And the last station is the Rotterdam Stadium station. The establishment of the Landova Metro Transit System gave way to the improvement and development of the transportation network of Landova. Up to this date, two lines are still being constructed. One of President Limson's greatest issues and problems in the country was the COVID-19 pandemic in Landova that started its index case in May 2020. The president has already issued quarantine alert level measures to contain and limit the spread of the virus. It introduces a four-level quarantine alert levels which are closure, quarantine isolation levels 1 and 2, and lockdown. The alert levels were ways to tighten and imposed strong quarantine measures despite the that healthcare services are on the loose due to the overwhelmed pandemic situation. By that time, President Limson initiated to build a more larger and modern hospital for the country thus the Lingus General Hospital in Picot City was built holding only COVID-19 patients in the country. By the time of the surge of cases in different countries, partial and total travel restrictions were issued in order to limit the virus from entering Landova. However, economic activity and tourism were a downfall in 2020 and 2021. Likewise, President Limson gradually opened up the country starting from the least affected countries up to the days of vaccination. The COVID-19 vaccination process plan was introduced to Landovians for the orderly rollout of the vaccines. President Limson with his cabinet had planned to purchase Pfizer-BioNTech vaccines as soon as possible in which the delivery was done in June 2021. Little by little, it accommodated almost 10,000 Landovians for inoculation. The vaccination was solely done in Lingus General Hospital for effective measuring of people. Problems arise due to the low vaccination rate in late 2021. Nevertheless, it significantly lowered the number of cases in Landova up to no reported cases by the health department. One of the major issues during the pandemic situation in 2020 and 2021 was the contact tracing and testing of most citizens in Landova. President Limson with the Interior Department and Health Department advised all people in Landova to get tested as soon as possible to observe how many people have the virus and observe how well the nation combated the coronavirus. In the last report of the Health Department, almost 97% of Landovians were given RT-PCR tests in which almost all of the citizens tested negative for the coronavirus. It lead to the people abiding by the health measures imposed by the government that Landova has been a COVID-19 free country for a long period after some infections arose in 2020. The president has done much in Landova that has shaped the country very well. It is not over yet for Mr. Jerwin Limson as being a public servant in the nation. What more will the new president can do for the Republic of Landova? All in all, the first president of Landova has decided the future of Landova in honor of progressing prosperity, unity, and justice. This is Paul Wanders. And this was the Limson Legacy.